So I have been weaving a while and I am just about to finish this rug. So I like to have a balanced weave, the same color at both ends. So I started at one end and wove one color. Then I turned my loom over and wove the uh, same color on the opposite end. So that way I have a balanced weave and I ended my rug right in the middle. Now you don't have to end in the middle, you don't have to have it balanced. You can end anywhere, just to make sure you don't end at the top or bottom against the pegs. So you can end anywhere you wish. And I have about six more rows to finish. Now one thing that's helpful when you get towards the end is to have a hook. A crochet hook works well so that you can push your weft through or you can reach behind and just pull it through with the hook. So keep in mind you might need a hook of some kind when you get to the very tight last row or two. So I'm going to continue weaving for a little bit and then I'll catch you when I am about to finish. So I am just about done. I just have to weave out to the edge and then back to here. Uh, this is from the bottom up and this was from the top down. So I want to end this one where this one ended so that they end in adjoining spaces. So I'm to the point with its little weaving space. So I actually take my crochet hook and just push it through. We want to pack this as tight as possible so there's no gap in your weaving. The other thing you can do is you can put, just push it through from one side and then from the back side push it up on the opposite side of that warp. However works best for you, even a little dowel or stick of some kind uh, would work pretty good. But just remember you want to pack as many rows in as possible so that you don't have any warp showing. So I'll have one more warp on this, or excuse me, one more row on this warp so that it's all covered. So I'm going to keep on weaving this and I'll catch it when I get back to this point. So I have finished my weaving and I have two strands from the top to the bottom and two strands from the bottom to the top. So what you want to do is you want to run those loose ends up along the warp for a couple inches to hide those ends and then I'll just trim these off. Uh, the other one I think I'm going to run through from the back side so that I don't have all the bulk on this side. So I'll pull it through a couple places here. this end. Okay, now that kind of reduces some of the bulk on this side. So I just have to turn my loom over and I'm ready to run these through the, the warps. You just want to reach through and grab that strand and then, then just pull it through. And you'll have to do it one, one row at a time. You can't run it through a whole big section. So I'll just run it through. And it does take a little while to get your hook worked through here. Grab a hold of it and pull it through. So I'll work this one up a couple inches this way and the other one I'll work a couple inches the opposite direction. And now is the time, if you have any little ends hanging out like this, I just take my hook and I just poke them through so that they don't show. Sometimes they'll work themselves out again, but you know, you can always take something and punch them through. So now that the weaving is all done and pretend like my ends are all tucked in, I'm ready to take it off the loom. So the easiest way is just to slide it off the pegs. And I, I like to slide the rug up on those pegs 
be slide it off on arm out of the way so you can see here. So I'm going to slide it up to the top of all those pegs. Rather than pull it all off at once, or pull it off from the top to the bottom, I want to pull it off all at once. Less strain on your pegs. So I pull it all up to the top. And then I'm ready just to work it all the way off. And then I pull it off the other end. Oops. There we go. Then you have a nice thick rug. Looks good. It's going to be very washable. So happy weaving and enjoy your finished product.